Zach asks, what three questions do you most commonly ask your clients when meeting them for the first time? Zach, wonderful question for everybody in client services, agency life, this should be fun. You know, number one is what is your KPI? What's your key performance indicator? Like what is the thing that you want us to accomplish? Is it views? Is it sales? Is it perception? Is it press? Is it, is it your own judgment on how you feel about the creative? How are you judging us? What are the results? And they're really separate. How are you judging us? What are the results? Are number one A and one B that matters the most? And then really the third one would then be, what are you willing to tell me about your warts? Meaning, there's just a lot of people that are not gonna tell you about the politics that are an issue, the money that's an issue. I'm always trying to get them to be very truthful for, uh, to us once I understand what the issues at hand are. So, what do you really want to accomplish? And by the way, people struggle with answering that. People struggle with answering that. Number two, how are you gonna judge me? Sometimes they struggle with that, less. Number three, what are the warts? Most people don't want to tell me up front. We try to sniff them out early so we can navigate them. And you know, it's, like a, it's a minefield to get to the finish line. Um, those are the three. And, and, they're, and they're very important uh, questions and trying to figure out in every situation, in absolutely every situation, in dating, in building your own business, in having clients. I really think those three are super fun. And by the way, they're very important equally. I think, for example, I think people that struggle with dating are spending way too much on number three. They're so concerned about what the person's warts are, skeletons in their closets. They're not trying to figure out how they're being judged to be a good partner in that relationship or how that's gonna be scored. And so having a great balance of all three, that's a little nugget there. Give me a little fun fact at the end of this question. It's the 33% execution of those three questions that may be equally as important. Yeah, that, yeah that, that got to be a better article because I, I layered that last piece How on. Clients are like What's going on in Meerkat, Steve? Uh, somebody, somebody asked uh, if they're conflicted about whether they should watch live on Meerkat or wait till the episode comes That's a out. really interesting question. Well, what did, what did, obviously both, right? Well, of course, but what did everybody, <laughs> what did everybody say? In, how many people in there? 180? 232. Good. Yeah. Uh, what do people ask about personal brands today? Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well, everybody on Meerkat, get on Instagram, take a picture, Ask the question, hashtag ask Gary V, and maybe you can be on the show. Speaking Suckers. of Suckers. Oh no, Kathleen says, speaking of dating, where's Nate? Nate, is? yeah, where is Nate? <laughs> Nate. Let's go see where Nate is. I'm taping uh, Ask Gary V, and uh, Kathleen is in your cat. I just got a notification. That Kathleen's curious where you are. So here you are. Why don't you give the Vayner Nation you know, two seconds of what you've been doing. Kathleen specifically, but what have you been really doing today? Working on budgets and scopes primarily. I think it sounds, sounds super. Sounds very riveting, a lot of spreadsheets, Excel. Are you teaching Alec, young Alex the ropes? Oh, yeah, so we got a scope open right there. I love it. Well, don't show the scope. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the show. Thanks, Nate. Yes, I think Kathleen is in Australia. Um, I like that Nate has secret admirers. Get in there. Oh, nice job, Stefan. Uh, D-Rock might not get his gig back with that move right there. That was a very smooth transition. Um, uh, Dreams all right. do come true, someone's 